Uh, so this story is interesting. It says the Supreme Court ruled that innocence isn't enough to overturn a black man's murder conviction. <laughs> what? Like, I swear to God, this country is just like trash. Guys, this is 2022. So this is a Blavity News article. The Supreme Court voted in a six to three on the ruling on Monday. Wow. Barry Jones, who sits on death row in Arizona after being convicted in 1995 for the rape and murder of his girlfriend's four-year-old daughter, is still facing execution. <laughs> He's facing execution, damn, despite evidence indicating that he might be innocent. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. What the fuck? Jones had his conviction overturned in 2018 when a federal court concluded that he hadn't received effective counsel, which is a violation of his Sixth Amendment rights, according to the Daily Beast. Uh, there's a reasonable probability that his jury would not have convicted him of any crimes with which he was charged and previously convicted, a federal judge ruled. Arizona's Attorney General appealed the decision to the Supreme Court after losing in the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. State prosecutors then continued to stand against Jones, saying his innocence isn't enough to throw out his conviction. With a six to three vote on Monday, the Supreme Court agreed that Jones' innocence is not enough to set him free. His innocence isn't enough to set him free. So someone named Scott Hetchinger said, know this, yesterday the Supreme Court ruled that, it, ruled that it is perfectly constitutional to imprison and execute people, even those who have evidence of their innocence and inadequate counsel. Not just that, they ruled the Constitution prohibits even evidentiary hearings to look into it. This is called the country ruled by Karen's. I'm no longer going to call it America. It is now the country ruled by Karens, and I'm on my way out. This is insane. When four-year-old Rachel Gray died of a laceration of her small intestine, prosecutors said Jones must have caused the injury when he was taking care of her on May 1st, 1994. Speaking with Liliana Segura, who published an extensive article for The Intercept in 2017, Jones said the little girl died under his watch, but he never killed her. According to Jones, the four-year-old had hit her head when she fell out of a car while playing with other children. The next morning, the child's mother, Angela Gray, found her daughter unresponsive in her room. The girl was then rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Damn. Nobody gives a shit about kids in this country. It's just so sad. Like, it's just like day after day. Like, y'all don't give a shit about nobody. Like, that's insane. Segura presented evidence from three medical experts who defended Dr. Janice Ofervin, a renowned pediatric forensic psychologist, who reviewed evidence from Rachel's autopsy and said the girl's intestine injury could not possibly have been inflicted on the day prior to her death. Wow, so the the pathologist rules that it couldn't have basically it couldn't have been this guy. Dr. Mary Pat McKay, who also reviewed the evidence in 2009, said there's absolutely zero evidence to indicate that Rachel's fatal injury occurred within 24 hours of death. Dr. Philip Keene made his case in an affidavit in 2017, according to Seguro. Rachel's small bowel laceration was not inflicted on May 1st, and thus Jones' jury was misled to believe otherwise, Keene wrote, according to The Intercept. According to Vox, Joe's lawyers must have been accused of failing to present evidence that could have proven his innocence. Joe's trial counsel failed to undertake even a cursory investigation and as a result did not uncover readily available medical evidence that could have shown Rachel sustained her injuries when she was not in Jones's care. Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote in a dissenting opinion released on Monday, Vox reports. The ruling in Jones' case adds the concern of black defendants who continue to disproportionately face the death penalty. This is true. 
According to the National Registry of, Exoner of Exonerations, innocent black people are seven times more likely to be wrongfully convicted of murder than innocent white people. Racial disparities are, the, are present at every stage of a capital case and get magnified as the case moves through the legal process. Robert Dunham, executive director of the Death Penalty Information Center, said in a statement on the center's website, if you don't understand the history that the modern death penalty is the direct descendant of slavery, lynching, and Jim Crow segregation, you won't understand why. So this is just another one of the reasons I want to point out why the land of the Karens is awful. You see, because even the Supreme Court, with evidence from two different, uh, what are those, forensic uh, evidence people, they said... It's impossible for the, the injuries to have been sustained during the time when this guy was caring for the kid. Even with that evidence, they're like, no, he's, so this guy is about to die. They're like, he's getting executed. <laughs> they still are like, we don't give a shit. It's just like, oh God, this country is so awful. And then I was reading something, some, I guess he's like the director of the Giants or whatever. So he said, I'm no longer singing the national anthem until I feel comfortable with the way the country's going. And I just kind of wonder, like, have people been blind and deaf the, this entire time? Like, when was the country going in the right direction? So he was upset because, um, so basically, some parents were alerted that there was a, a the school shooter inside. And so I don't even know how, from, from what I understand, the thing happened in like 12 minutes I don't know how people got all the way from work to the school in 12 fucking minutes, but they did. And so there were parents who were outside who were trying to run inside and police officers started arresting parents. Like they arrested two mothers or something who were trying to run in and save their kids. And while they were arrested, the kids actually died. So it was just like the police officers did not go in and stop the shooting. The They wouldn't let the mothers go in and save their children. And then 20 people died. And it was just, I mean, come on, that's fucking absurd. Like, there is no logic or reason. This is 2022 in the land of the Karens. It makes sense. We have to, we have to have a, we have, we have like regular human knowledge. And then we have like Karen Neanderthal knowledge. Maybe I'll make a new video about that. It's like the, the Joe Rogan Karen knowledge. They sit over here with like the other imbeciles. They have their own like, way of looking at the world and it's not just them you see how many people watch the joe rogan foolery every fucking day and how many people stand up for him and support it remember y'all they listened for 400 episodes while he was like nigger 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 he was like basically he had a whole dance he was like nigger 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 everybody was like yay yay and this was like last year <laughs> Y'all get mad at me for waving around a sword? Uh, fuck you. Fuck you a whole way. All I'm saying, if you're a black woman watching this video, you should get you an A. You should get you an AK-47 too. Okay, you should get you a, a 9, an AK-47, and a thug boyfriend. Get a boyfriend like Gunner who's gonna kill a bitch for you. Because honestly, none of the Supreme Court don't care. Most niggers don't care. Like, all the other races are racist too. They don't care. Nobody cares. You gotta care about yourself. That's the solution.